All right, so now we're in our glamping tent. So I just wanted to give you a nice little tour around. Don't mind the mess. We just got in and situated everything. So we got yourself a dresser here. Pretty good. A lot of nice space in there. A little rustic. Um, nice little top area. And you got two beds here. Twins full. One of the two. Uh, probably twins. Because this is a king size bed on this side over here. And we got ourselves some lights on both sides as well as up here. We brought some fans. So I highly, highly recommend some fans. And we got those going now. Air condition over here. It's right now at 78. Coldest hours gets is to 61. It's not terrible. It's July 4th weekend. Um, it actually just started downpouring. So it did cool off a little bit. It's not too warm in here, honestly. And they do give you some pillows. Now, now, this is the part that not a lot of people showed anybody. Um, especially when we were looking. So hopefully you guys can see it. If not, um, I'll figure something out later. But it's pretty dark. You got yourself a microwave up here. Give me some light. Boom! There's some light. Alright, small safe down here. You might be able to fit a laptop. I don't think anything... I don't even think a 15-inch laptop will fit in there, to be honest with you. You do got drawers down here. So now the refrigerator. We did see that it is a uh, mini fridge, but... You could fit a lot of stuff in here. You got yourself a little freezer section up here. Open. Now we just put our ice packs in. Um, but yeah, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. We got some alcohol up here. Butter some more food vegetables and stuff down there beer water soda and i could still fit a lot more we're only here for maybe i think we're here until sunday it's friday now so just two days pretty much so we just got enough food for that we're doing a rodeo we may eat out at the barbecue or something like that later but you could load this thing up and still have room it's not a small refrigerator and i wanted to emphasize the refrigerator because a lot of videos we've seen they didn't touch anything on it. They opened it, looked at it real quick, and just shut it. So at least I want to show that and how much you could actually fit in here. If you're looking to freeze stuff, you ain't going to put much in there. Um, you could probably fit... You got steaks. Um, is these steaks? What do we buy? Pork. So that could fit in there. So um, you got hot dogs. We didn't get any burgers, but... Uh, yeah. Hell, cheap cola. So that's the refrigerator. And you got some room up here. They give you some games. Watch out for my uh, corned beef hash. They give you some games that you guys can play. It's a spacious tent, honestly. I mean, even if you have four people in here, you still got space to move around. We'll go outside, do those tours later. Again, it's raining out. Um, we did notice the porch area gets soaking wet. Especially where we are. We're in tent 15. The whole outside is wet, so... Just grab some towels, wipe it down, you're good to go. So here's our bed area. I don't mind a giant dent in the pillow. That's my arm. But it's actually getting colder in here. It's at 78 right now. So it'll get colder. It's around, I believe, 1, 2 o'clock. Probably 1 o'clock or so right now. Um, hopefully it dies out raining because I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to make some hot dogs on the grill. They're probably going to come out. It's dark as hell. But we're going to have fun. Because we're glamping today and tomorrow and part of Sunday. So join us, enjoy, and let's have some fun together, shall we? All right, so we're at the king bed now, our side. You have an outlet down there on the floor. You also have this little outlet area here with two USBs and um, two regulars. We got ourselves, actually, this guy here. And it's just extra USBs, so that comes in handy do uh, outlets the uh, extension cords whatever you got to do but this is your main source right here there's probably another one or two floating around um, elsewhere but just wanted to show that and you also you don't have that same contraption on the other side but you have another outlet on the floor over there so here is the church open on Sunday at 10 a.m. now we're going this way to the right the adventure park let me see if I can fit Doing it. Ah, where am I parking? 
So this is what, what would this area be called? Like, this is where all the action happens. Yeah. Get the post office here. Kids Corral. Yes, that's for uh, kids activities, things like that. If you're looking to do some laundry. You can do your laundry right over here. Right next door is a tiny little palm tree. And a fitness center. If you're on vacation, you ain't gonna wanna do any fitness today. So this is the Western store. You can get all your uh, get up for the rodeo. Right next door is the general store, which also has a Starbucks in it. So we're now inside of the... What store was this? Country Western store. Get your boots, get your hats. Get your belt. <laughs> Love this little air freshener. It's adorable. You got some clothes in here. It's a cute little store. Not gonna lie, that pizza looks really good. Really good pizza. Look at that. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. The hell with the bun, I get that for breakfast. I want pizza. So you can get yourself pizza, you can get yourself ice cream, sandwiches, Starbucks, a little bit of everything. And then a whole thing of essential items that you may need throughout your trip. So the general store in um, the area with the post office and all that was over there. That's the um, basketball court. Down on this side over here is the RV park. And back over here is the marina. So this is the marina? Yeah. All right. You can rent boats. I don't know if it's here or further down, but you see the RV section down there. Yeah, the RV section is all down on this area. The other one's open. No, the one's closed. This one is open. And you also have the markers on the ground. I've been seeing that a lot. A lot of sanitizer, if they're full. We're doing a cookout tomorrow. I'm not sure how much. Let me see a menu. I know they have one online. So we're on the other part of the marina. You are allowed to do catch and release fishing. And these are the poles for that. Oh, this is the catch and release pond over here. This is the petting zoo. Do horseback riding. Hi. Hi, goat. Oh. Hi, how are you? Hey you. What's up, buddy? I got one on the loose. Hi. How are you? Hey you. What's up? Well, hello. And hi, how are you? Uh, 
Uh oh. So you're gonna show me around? Where we're we gonna go now? Are we going on a petting farm? You gonna pet some of your friends? All right, we'll go in here now. <laughs> Hi. Come on, Lama. You're in the way. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. What? Who are you yelling at? I was going to want It's basically a big circle of uh, glamping tents, big campfire in the middle. There's a pavilion on this one. Yeah, with all the tables, but each one comes with its own table um, and its own propane grill that yeah. they provide for you. And you share at night, a certain amount of tents will share the bonfire. Yeah. They light it every night at 7. And to the right, these are the bathhouses. So you got, and we'll go in there later on. Um, so you have an air-conditioned bathroom. Air-conditioned bathroom. Nice bathroom, actually. They're really big. Like, better than I expected. Very spacious. Everything is better than I expected. Oh, yeah. Because, you, you know, you're not sure what you're going to expect. You see pictures, but you're not, you know. But it's, everything's better than I expected, honestly. Much nicer. Let's unveil dinner. La 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 la. Those are potatoes. Yep. Those are potatoes. These are shush kebabs. Shush kebabs. Are they going to be shit kebabs? Hopefully not. Yeah, hope not. We'll see. And here's the outside of our tent. Which way does this go? And this is where the cricket took a dump. Speaking of that, where's that big SOB? Oh, he's somewhere. And for dessert, <laughs> roasted potatoes. So it's, uh, what time is it? Uh, it's um, 7.20. Seven, about 7.20. And after the petting zoo closes, I think it closes probably around 5 or 6. All of the animals get released 
and hang out in this uh, giant open field over here. That's so cool. Hi, buddy. That's a good life. Huh. It's nice to see them all just out, hanging out, relaxing. And these are the luxury glamping tents. Teepees. No. no, we have the luxury glamping tents. These are the luxury teepees. These are luxury teepees that you can get, which are what, double what we're paying? Uh, triple? Triple. Almost, almost triple, but they're regular air conditioned and... Yeah, they look really nice. We decided not to splurge this time around on these, but... Um, look a little left so you can see the front doors. Maybe next time. Get you inside a little bit. It seems like they have a big giant courtyard area that's shared. So these are cabins that you could also Right. Rent out. The TP parking seems to be over this way too. The TPs were just out or straight down that way. We'll come up to them again down here. Yeah. So future development for cabins. These are train cars, right? That's what they're called. Yeah. Oh, oh my look. god! What do we got going on here? Little house on the prairie ones. So these Oh, they're right there. Drive up there. They're oh, there. okay. Well, but this is what it's going to look like inside. And it might look like that. So let's go see what it's going to look out on the outside. Oh, they're cute though. They are. I like those. Those are rail cars. I think that's what they're called. Yeah. So these are what's going to be coming, um, I guess fairly soon. We died. I hope not. Our fuel went to zero. Did it really? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so this is what the design is going to be looking like. I would assume they would just go all the way down with these. And we've come to the airport. Yeah. Which our glamping tent section is right over where that white car is, right around there. These things are loud coming in. Figured runway is right here. We only heard, what, this one today. That was it. Heard some reviews that they're very loud and they last all day long. But we only had one. Heard more thunder. So we're at the, uh, what are these, the cottages? The lodge. We're by the lodge. These are the lodge rooms over here. And one of the pools. There's two pools over here, right? I thought there was one, but there might be two. This is the main pool, and I think there's uh, another pool somewhere else. So...
see. Well, not really. Hopefully it's not too hard to see. That's a gator right there. It's a nice little one. I'd say probably about uh, five, six feet, more or less. This guy's right here. It's just chilling. Good morning, day two. Finally got a little bit closer to some bison. Some babies over there. I don't think we can get any closer. Hopefully they come closer to us at some point. But here they are. Well, very good morning, rotating bacon. How are you today? And we got some cinnamon buns, you can't really see it. But we're here at Starbucks, the general store, getting some coffee. morning they deliver breakfast morning, like to, to the glamping tents and you get coffee ours came shortly after 8 15 whole pot of coffee and these fresh like, amazing and then this guy we're gonna go over to the main glamping tent area. We're over to the right. <laughs> but this is the main area. A lot of tables, barbecues. I think one or two of the the uh, fire pits. So we'll just take a little stroll around here. Very shaded. Our tent stays warm in the daytime, nighttime around, I'd say around midnight, it starts cooling down. Um, it was staying around 78 to about 81 yesterday. Then last night we woke up, it was around, I think 71, 72. So it was nice when we woke up. Just very loud, especially with all the kids, extremely loud. Here's one of the fire pits. I don't see another one over here, but on the outskirts, you got a few here and there. And they do like this every night. Um, you can bring your own marshmallows, graham crackers, chocolates, do your own s'mores. They do provide a kit. If you're staying one of the glamping tents and I think the teepees, not sure about the other ones water stations. You have a couple of these set up throughout the area. Fresh water, to wash your hands, clean your pots and pans, do all that fun stuff. 
but you do get little bugs here and there in the tents. People across from us had a bee or a wasp, but one of the two. We had just had little ants here and there, nothing crazy. There are these giant massive grasshoppers that are floating around somewhere. Saw one yesterday. Big guy was like, holy crap. But uh, yeah, this is the main glamping area. You have a pavilion over there as well. Extra seats and everybody does get a barbecue. We do have some big fans set up. See a couple of them. I don't know if people brought them or what, but we're gonna check around the area now and see what we can find. Hi. Hey, Mr. Red. Over here is the catch and release pond.
So here's the church. There's the steeple. Let's open the door. I guess no people. Let's do a little tour of our outside area. We got ourselves a little picnic table. Got ourselves a grill. Don't mind our cast iron pan and tongs. And we got ourselves a garbage that we share with our next door neighbor. So if you do have dirty pots and pans or anything like that, or if you just need water, they have some of these stations set up throughout the area. These are water stations. Fresh water. Comes out pretty good. Good pressure. So we got those. In case you guys were wondering how or if you could clean pots and pans and all that stuff. So last night was our first night pretty loud up until probably about 12 30 1 30 around that time frame just kids lots of kids screaming and yelling i mean yeah you're on vacation and all that but just be a little bit respectful towards others because it just literally felt like they're in our tent screaming because the walls you know it's a tent it's only so thick but you hear everything or balls bouncing kids yelling i'm like come on but uh, it did cool down in the tent when we were in it earlier. It was up to 88 degrees. Um, when I went in earlier, it was probably around 83, 82. So it does fluctuate. I do recommend getting some isolating fans. We have two tabletop fans that we stuck on there. But get some other fans, help cool down the room because it does get warm. In. It's in the middle of summer right now, so. It is about to storm. I'm gonna do rodeo later on. So far, having a good time. We'd we'll definitely come back. We'd we'll definitely do um, another type of room. Glamping was cool, it was fun. I personally think it would be much better if it was cooler out, so maybe come November, December time frame. Not when it's ice cold, but maybe in the 60s, 70s come during that time frame. But it's nice, it's a nice getaway. And the, the uh, golf cart, have to do it. Don't even come and not do it. I mean, you can drive to what you, get, you know, wanna do if you wanna get to the pool, the rodeo, all that, you can drive. They do have spots, but the golf cart, 50 times easier. Because we were originally just going to do today, Saturday. Um, but luckily we did ask because it is a two-night minimum or two-day minimum for the golf carts this weekend. But we got it. Worth every penny. And I think it was about $75 a day. Somewhere around that for or that price range. It's worth it. I mean, we've been driving around a lot. Last night we drove around... Um, the RV park not this one over here the one all the way down at the other end by the smokehouse grill just to check it out honestly I think Christmas time would probably be even nicer so I know at Fort Wilderness they do decorating all throughout the RVs and I'm sure they would do it here they're created pretty nicely um, last night for the holiday weekend so having fun having a good time So here's our golf cart that we uh, got for the weekend. It's pretty fast. So to get started, right down here is your reverse and forward um, shaft or whatever. I didn't realize this at first because I was 
parked and I kind of had to like parallel myself out so use my feet to go backwards yeah I know not the smartest do you have blinkers not sure if you can see that right there but we do have blinkers on here do you also have a horn but this best transportation you're gonna find here well worth every penny So it is now downpouring. Luckily, we just finished dinner. But we got the rodeo in what, an hour or two? Two hours. Two hours. It's fine. It should cool down everything. Yeah, and hopefully go away. If not, it's cold rain. Rain or shine. I left to throw the trash out. It's cold. Hey, you see it all got wet. So try to keep everything towards the middle that you're going to sit on. Like a short line on your feet. Nice warm up. But you have to also prevent these things from growing because they do rub. Yeah, they will come up. So that's what these things are for. We're going to do a quick tour of the restroom facility here for the glamping tents. Standard toilet, little bench that they put the towels on, standard shower, um, decent sized shower actually. They give you shampoo, conditioner, and some bar soaps. There's your shower head. And it's, it's a good sized shower. Good size. Also a hair dryer. Um, toilet paper and facial tissue. Soap dispenser does not work. They took out the um, refills. Um, let's see what else. If you need a, anything extra, just call them up. They'll come bring it. Right now, I got some extra towels and toilet paper. They just put it in a giant bag, left it outside the door. So that's how we got any refills. So that's pretty much it. It's very spacious. Don't mind the towels on the floor. So this is reserved seating for the teepee tents. We're in glamping. We don't have anything specific. You can pretty much sit wherever. You see markings for social distancing, the caution tape. So they're filling up every other row. trying to at least and here is the arena it is covered overhangs we have seating on that side outside seating on that side as well You know, when most folks think of cowgirls and cowboys, places like Texas and Oklahoma come to mind, what a lot of folks have not been told is that the very first cowboys in America didn't come from out west, they came from right here in the sunshine state of Florida. We are the best place in the American cowboys. As you can tell, we're pretty proud of that here at Westgate River Ranch. And tonight, we're going to bring you a handful of those Florida Cowboys and Cowgirls to work for you as our list of contestants. One, two, three! That's what we're going to be looking for all night long. You'll have a great time, and these Cowboys and Cowgirls will appreciate it. Some very special guests that are with us here tonight. I hope each and every one of you know it's not the politicians in Washington that make this the home of the free and the land of the brave. It's the men and women of our United States Armed Services that make it the country we are. Thank you. 
Teton, you watch the needle soar. Have you seen the Mississippi roll along Missouri's shore? Have you felt a chill at Michigan when on a winter's day her waters rage along the shore and thunderous display?
and gentlemen, please make welcome world champion trick rover and country music artist, Mr. Trevor Trey.
I've never seen an owl before. Okay. Oh, wow. It's gonna fly at me. No. Oh. 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 So this is our final breakfast. These cinnamon buns, I would pay for. They're absolutely perfection. I think they sell them too. They do sell them. I think they're three bucks a piece. It's worth every penny. I would even pay ten bucks a piece. They're we're delicious. Gonna, we're going to see if the coffee's better today. Yeah, the coffee sucked yesterday, um, which Starbucks sucked. This was even worse than that. Well, we'll see if it's better today. Yep. How's it look? It's beautiful. You did great. 